Greetings, dear friends. We continue our service holding our sacred group space. Thank you for joining our Jerusalem meditation organized and held by many, through many years by the Hekal group from Jerusalem. Now together with the 2025 initiative, together we invite you to this expanded service. Over to you, Uta. Hello, friends. And thank you for your presence here. At this time, when the world is focused on the Ukraine, And as we do our work, we do it also for Ukraine, for the whole situation, for the whole world. In this Jerusalem meditation project, we work with the higher potential of Jerusalem as an energy vortex, an ancient reservoir. The present sign of Pisces gives us the opportunity to take a glance backwards on what Jerusalem stood for during the last 2000 years. When the Christ came at the beginning of the Piscean age, he built on what was already here in Palestine and he left his imprint. And in the course of that age, Jerusalem became a powerful center for three religions. The old city of Jerusalem is full of synagogues, churches, and mosques. There's a spiritual richness on the higher levels of Jerusalem and on the lower levels, we sense very palpably um, layers, dense layers of all these conflicts between the religions and between the different ethnicities over the centuries. Unresolved issues. So the atmosphere is quite charged and tense in Jerusalem, strong thought forms still hang in the air. And we can ask what of all this needs to be undone and what can be taken, can be used and built into the new age. So Jerusalem can be an exemplary place where this transformation is happening from all these layers, from all this density, the dense structure, back to spirit, from temples made of stone to temples of light. The new world religion will be one of etheric livingness, of alchemical and magical processes, of spiritual science. So we will be working with a much higher and finer substance, from stone to light. And that light is already there it is overlighting the city and it is also buried in the earth under all these layers. And we can awaken this reservoir. Maybe that is meant by restoring ancient mysteries, 
working with the ancient magnets. Before we go into meditation, we would like to share a few of the gems of the impressions that you all shared after the meditation last time. Someone shared her experience of the meditation as a tuning fork, picking up the very clear and high tone and angelic forces adding a beautiful vibration, rounding out this high tone. And as we then sounded it over the world, this tuning fork resonated from magnetic point to magnetic point. And someone added to this that the note of this tuning fork is the note that together we are learning to hear and to which we are being called. This um, definition by DK came to mind again. A temple is a group of souls called together to work out the purposes of deity. Together we learn to listen to this purpose of deity, this tuning fork. and gathering in the temple. When we stand together as souls, we become this temple, this resonance chamber. Someone else shared about Jerusalem's part in the divine plan as being a prototype of right relations that cries out to be attained and achieved by humanity. As if the cry of Jerusalem is helping the world to come into this intent of right relations. And another gem, the pure heart of the group is a magnet for those who guide us. It's the purity of intent. Being this fiery heart together in the synthesis of the will and love. This will to love It strengthens the bridges of right relation, which are under so much tension in the present crisis. So let us harness the energies of Pisces, especially with these qualities of compassion and forgiveness and of unity, no matter what. Let us become a tuning fork for the will to love. So let's prepare for meditation. Breathing, breathing deeply. Getting in touch with our bodies. The body which is the temple of our soul. And resting in the stillness of our heart. Bringing our mind into a focus in the center of the head.
standing as the incarnated soul, radiant. And let us turn our attention now towards Jerusalem. Becoming aware of an outpost of love and light and spiritual will somewhere within the aura of Jerusalem. And let us meet there. As we enter this outpost, sense its force field. Allowing our hearts to come into resonance with the group heart. Sense it like a pulsating magnet of pure intent. Letting our minds synchronize with the group mind. Tuning into this telepathic field. We are a group of souls gathered together to work out the purposes of deity. And as an outpost, we perceive ourselves as one point of spiritual energy within the great network of world service. Taking a moment to note, perceive the many focal points of spiritual activity all around the planet. Sensing them radiating and interacting, each with their specific note and function. Sensing the unity, the syntony that is coming into existence of the new group of world service. Peace commanding presence. And sensing the field of higher vibration held by hierarchy. And how these two fields interweave world workers and the ashramic workers. Aligning now specifically with the ashramic workers who support and guide this Jerusalem project. And in their aura, let us take a moment to open our consciousness to the divine plan and Jerusalem's part in it.
Let us sense into the golden potent energy flowing through the vortex of Jerusalem. Standing in this golden light, opening to this ancient reservoir, this imprint, the quality of this vortex. Gently bringing our consciousness back into our group field at the midway point between the higher world <clears throat> and Jerusalem below. Bringing the high vibration with us, letting it settle into the group field. And hold it in suspense with our united hearts and minds, holding it at a point of tension, a golden living healing substance, the will to love.
And now, by an act of slow concentration and will, we see this golden vibration pour forth into the aura of Jerusalem, streaming forth. See angelic beings, golden devas, building with us this high vibration into the aura of Jerusalem. Geometric order. Notice the trees helping to ground it into the earth. See the light in the heavens meet with the light in the earth. As above, so below. See the aura of Jerusalem glow with the warm golden light. Visualize the hearts of the citizens respond to this light, slowly swinging into this higher order. A higher order which is grounded in the sacredness of each person and the oneness of humanity. Imagine the city calling out for oneness. The souls of all are one, and I am one with them. I seek to love, not hate. I seek to serve, and not exact due service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love. See a golden wave of the will to love, the will to peace, spread out into the whole area of Israel-Palestine. A 
and spreading out further into the entire Middle East with all these different countries. The will to love. Into Asia. See a thread of light connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. See the unifying wave pour through Asia, and linking into Tokyo. Spreading further east over the ocean to America. Linking in with New York. Spreading further east to Europe. Linking in with London. Linking in with Geneva. Spreading further out in all directions all over the world and back to Jerusalem. Visualize this wave of the will to love, the will to peace, continuing to flow over the earth. As we say the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic and English. In זרום האור אל דעת האדם. ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, זרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם. תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, הוגשם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון, ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה. ويحبت النور في الأرض من لقطة الحب جدا بالإلهي 
ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله وتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمون من المركز الذي ندون بالجنس البشري ينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر يجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض From the point of light within the mind of God, that light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, that love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power Restore the plan on earth. Oh. Oh.
Thank you, friends. So let us open the floor for sharing any impressions. Hi, this is Efrat from Jerusalem. Thank you, Uta, for this powerful med meditation. Thank you, friends. I would share only one impression that I had in the meditation. Um, like in ancient time, Jerusalem had a, a role or a purpose to concentrate light in one place and bring it from the higher place to the lower place, all the levels in the ground. Came to me in this meditation, then the new role of Jerusalem is to be kind of laboratory of transformation. This light from concentrate in one or in few places to all over the planet. Something um, that's happening in. in in New Jerusalem, in the High Jerusalem, the transformation is already happening. And I had a very, very strong uh, connection with Ukraine since all my, my love. Thank you. Continue. This is Helen from Jerusalem. I will continue uh, with what's sharing because one of the strong images I had is um, Jerusalem being like a universal lens where the higher, uh, yeah, the higher energies. And this time it was the higher energies of the white relations converge into this lens. And then, since uh, the, the, the lens is standing like, uh, over the planet, like uh, over, over lighting the planet, um, those energies are diverged into the world. Um, to uh, make the seven rays and, uh, and spreading all over the world into, uh, um, into tangible levels. Brethren of unity right relations. It was very strong. And it has to do with the whole world. Can you hear me from Sarasota? 
Yes, Mark. Good, beautiful meditation. It's so wonderful to be here with everybody during these very intense, uh, yet action-filled and even hope-producing uh, times. What I what I felt from the masters and see is nothing new, but it bears report repeat repeating. I believe, um, which is, of course, the masters are now holding the vision of the ideal. The masters, the divine plan, it's there. The divine blueprint for peace and harmony and right human relations and the Holy Land and Ukraine and Russia and all other places. The, the divine blueprint is, is there. And it's up to humanity to access that vision and to manifest this energetically and through our empowered daily actions. And the other thing that, um, and I guess I'll add, I'd like to see a lot more action on the part of neighbors and the average people, quite honestly, so that that can bear some encouragement. <clears throat> also, I was reminded that we must also take care of ourselves as the uh, energies of the universe are shifting and the frequency uh, is, is something to cope with and, and the cellular level of our bodies. So it's up to us. It's, it's our responsibility to take care of our health, take care of our finances, our daily relationships, and uh, this is also the essential task. We have quite a lot on our plate. Being in a group, connecting with a new group of world servers is so empowering. We can do it. Thank you. This is Margot calling in from Canada. The energy seemed very soft, very soft. And as it qualified, it became more substantial and strengthened as we connected with the trees grounded it right into into the earth into jerusalem the circular progression around the world from inlet to inlet around the world so horizontally was as if the entire planet and all realms were being embraced thank you This is Andrea calling from the United States. And I was impressed with this beautiful image that was conjured in thinking of that ancient reservoir that is in and through and around Jerusalem. And it came to me as an impression of, of, of a feminine energy and in that maybe a maternal energy. And there was this lovely receiving when we invoked that golden light of love into Jerusalem. And as a mother will do in her selfless nature, that was received and then immediately gifted. And there was extraordinary empathy, compassion, and generosity in that energy being received gratefully, but then given away. And it 
for me, saw its direction go to Kiev, where I saw an additional ancient reservoir deep within that culture. And it was this lovely giving to a place that is feeling what Jerusalem knows and what Jerusalem feels. And then it was interesting because I was impressed with the word forgiving and saw it as forward giving and that part of the healing for Jerusalem and, and for all of us is that generosity of giving what we, what we know in love and empathy and compassion. So it's this forgiving of that golden light. And then as Utra beautifully did in that med meditation, it, it continued. And as Margot said, in this lovely horizontal flow that even as we mentioned each of those points of light in those physical cities, there was this brilliance of expansion from that light so that there was just this network of light that encircled every inch of the earth. <clears throat> uh, hello, this is uh, Jonas uh, from Portugal. Um, it's so, this meditation is so extraordinary at this time. Um, as we moved through the meditation, I asked, uh, what is the idea of Jerusalem, that divine idea that has inspired the Western civilization, really the whole world, and that is the idea of brotherhood, unity between faiths and races. And I believe that that idea is tangibly being sensed by the people of all our nations. And yet there is a need to release the ideals, the false idols, if you will, uh, that have colored the past and have outpictured as an interpretation of law, economy, leadership, and so forth around the world. And as we move into Pisces, uh, predominantly a sixth ray culmination, if you will, to this past age, all of that which no which we no longer identify with can be returned to source as humanity itself turns back toward accepting a higher will a higher purpose so i i would like to make a link really to that original idea that jerusalem is in the hearts of humanity as a Ten, uh, as an embryonic true ideation of the brother of humanity. And that somehow in this past age, largely an age of patriarchy, it's the divine, you know, the divine feminine aspect within humanity itself, which is invoking a healer and a right relationship, not just between brothers and sisters and in, in all of our nations, but between the divine mother, the uh, creative aspect and the divine father, the divine will aspect. So those are my thoughts, thank you.
Yeah, it seems that uh, our impressions quite are quite in a, in 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 resonance, in telepathic resonance. Um, yes, this old embryonic idea of brotherhood, of unity, of right relations, and that. Yeah, that's the gift that uh, because Jerusalem has become over these centuries and millennia like um, a symbol of the, the city of peace and, and unity and all this and the, the heart, the, the human heart, um, it can give this gift to the whole of humanity. For me also today it was uh, uh, a new experience um, sounding this high note, this intended, you know, this, this, this archetypal intention of Jerusalem and then giving it forth and picking up like, like this tuning fork. I was aware of this image of the tuning fork, we just ding, 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 picking up the, the notes of the other, of these inlets. And um, yeah, an act of bringing into syntony the different notes of our nations and yeah, all of humanity. And um, having the trees grounding it, um, and what you, some of you said, this feminine, the femininity of uh, of it. When you are in Jerusalem, you don't feel much femininity, but um, this is now called for. And I felt that this, the present crisis now. Um, becoming so tense, it it kind of it it was almost like a vacuum, bringing through, calling in even more this golden substance, and then it could flow everywhere, and especially to to the Ukraine and Russia and this whole area. There's a comment by Sabina. Hi, Sabina. In the golden light about Jerusalem in the highest sphere appeared a new divine child as a future vision, the sacred first ray quality and the sacred second ray quality are preparing for a holy wedding like they did in the ancient time. But all this in a very subtle, chemical and magic way, like Uta mentioned in the beginning of the meditation. The holy couple as the most creative and fruitful unity and meaningful bringing together the holy polarities.
Okay. You're standing rather in silence in the present world situation, holding point of tension in our heart as we approach the new moon. Right now is probably crazy joyful for getting to witness this and be her. Oh. Okay, there's nothing else coming. Let us conclude for today and continue being united in spirit and in heart. Bye bye friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Thank you.